So let's take a few minutes to actually mull this over and sort of feel it in your bones, as I say, because it is the core principle behind how this works anyway, right? For air conditioners and for refrigerators. Basically, when you put alcohol on your skin, it has a boiling point, just like water has a boiling point. And as you know, water behaves the same way. When you get out of a swimming pool, you are shivering because that water is also evaporating. But the boiling point or the vapor point of alcohol is lower than water. If you pour the alcohol on the counter, you know that it's going to disappear within a few minutes. Same thing with gasoline and such, but you don't want to really put gasoline on your body, right? So water provides a cooling effect, but because the, uh, the temperature at which alcohol vaporizes is much lower, then it can vaporize easier with your body heat. So you have your uh, atoms and molecules in your skin and you have a body temperature, right? Now, the temperature that we talk about every day is really the average thermal motion of all of the atoms and the molecules in your skin. If they're jiggling faster, then you have a higher temperature. If they're jiggling slower, then they're, we, we say, have a lower temperature. Now what's happening is the alcohol goes on your skin and the uh, atoms and molecules of your skin are jiggling and bumping into the alcohol and they're giving energy to the alcohol. But because the alcohol can turn from a liquid to a vapor, as soon as the alcohol molecule gets a little bit of extra energy to vaporize, it detaches from the surface, literally floats away, and it goes off somewhere else into the air. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.